Hi, Josh. Hey, Brink. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Uh, for our viewers out there, I'm Brink Lindsay from the Cato Institute. Uh, Josh Cohen, Stanford University and Boston Review. Uh, we uh, we said we'd start off talking today about uh, the Obama surge, uh, yeah. the decision to send 30,000 more troops uh, to yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah. What do you think? Brent? For a year and a half or more. Yeah. Um, for some indeterminate amount of time, depending on conditions on the ground to some extent anyway. You know, yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your take? Um, so... But, uh, t- t- Start off with getting, I think, two things out of the way uh, that um, uh, I think maybe maybe they're just bugging me, but uh, about things that people are saying. But uh, I think maybe they're getting in the way of some of the discussion. So, so one thing is uh, there are a bunch of people, uh, and uh, there was a particularly overheated version of this uh, by Gary Wills uh, that's just been posted on the New York Review of Books blog, which is uh, all about a sense of uh, being betrayed by uh, Obama, uh, uh, by this decision. And, you know, there are lots of things that you can say about this, uh, the the decision to send in 30,000 more troops on top of having decided back in March to send in 17,000 more. Um, But I, I think somebody who says that they feel betrayed by this decision uh, has themselves to blame for it. Uh, they weren't paying attention to they weren't what he was paying saying attention. all during the campaign. And they weren't paying attention because they didn't take him seriously as a thoughtful, serious, smart, reflective, uh, political guy who thought about a lot, a, lot of, uh, a lot of stuff before they were, you know, taking Obama as somebody on whom to project their you know, favorite image or fantasy or hope or whatever about what uh, policies would be. So Obama has said uh, throughout the campaign that uh, more or less uh, the worst thing that he could say about the decision to invade Iraq was that it was uh, took our, as thinking of it, our eye off the, the, the ball uh, where the real ball was in um, uh, Afghanistan. He described the... Uh, fight in Afghanistan uh, more recently as a war of uh, necessity, not a war of choice. And uh, you could have decided to support him despite that, which was right. m- my decision. Uh, I never liked his views on this. Uh, or you could have uh, decided not to support him. Uh, but I-, I think it's the fault of people who feel b- b- uh, betrayed by this that they weren't uh, paying attention and taking him seriously. And I think this uh, Will's thing is a really particularly, as I say, overheated example of that. The other thing that I think people are making too much out of um, is the issue about, you know, whether the uh, the exit date is a date certain or a date conditional or a date partly conditional. Right. And you go in and say, you know, circle this date. This is the date that we're leaving. You know, I think it's pretty clear uh, that um, uh, this is, the, you know, the, Nobody is going to say, you know, we're going to we're, we're out of here no matter what's happening on the ground. That wasn't the suggestion. I think there is arguably uh, uh, some significance to saying here's the picture we've got of what this policy is about and what we're trying to do. And uh, the, our expectation going in is that we're going to start to uh, move back uh, by, you know, a date in 2011. And uh I think there's, you know, there's I, I, the, the, both of those things, the feeling of betrayal at uh, Obama having done something that uh, some of his supporters didn't want him to do, um, and uh, the exaggerated importance attached to the withdrawal date, uh, whether it's a date certain or not, I think are sort of distractions from the real issue. So what's the real issue? Um, well, I, I, I mean, look, the the... the I don't like the policy, so, so but let me, and right. I'll get to that, but let me say, uh, to put the, the, the best face on it, or, yeah, the best face on it that I can uh, think of, it's, it's kind of, you know, Biden heavy meets McChrystal light. Um, yeah. 
So it's McChrystal light because uh, McChrystal asked for 40,000 troops and he got 30,000, 30,000 U.S. troops. NATO has said that they're going to send 7,000 or 